Ocio, Melissa. Ocio. Welcome to Cherokee National History Museum. Are you ready to answer seven questions? Yes, I am. Let's start by introducing yourself. Can you tell the audience who you are? Yes, my name is Melissa Payne. Walk with me and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I was raised, I was born and raised in Fort Gibson, Oklahoma and moved to Muskogee probably around my teenage years and from then on, between the both. For people who don't know, when people say freedmen, what are they referring to? They are referring to, look at this wall, these names say a lot. They're referring to the people that were enslaved once upon a time by Cherokee Nation, by Seminole, all the tribes. You had individuals that were black and they were enslaved. Um, those individuals were known as freedmen once the slavery was abolished. So once it ended, the title freedmen came for all of us and the descendants carried that on. You are Cherokee Nation's Freedmen Community Advisor. Can you explain that role to people who aren't familiar with it? Yes, I can. So what I do is I work directly with the community. I work with um, different individuals that are descendants of the freedmen, that are freedmen, and I assist them with getting their tribal citizenship, reg registration, and then I help direct them to different departments whenever needed to assist them with their issues or situations that they're trying to take care of. What was it like to work on the Freedmen exhibit here at the Cherokee National History Museum? This exhibit was very moving. You'll see different things that our ancestors endured. And you'll notice that some were happy, some were great, and then you'll see some where they were enslaved. You can see the, where they sold some of the individuals. I mean, it goes from all types of emotions, but the experience was amazing, and I was truly grateful to be a part of it. What's your favorite part about the exhibit? Oh, my favorite part. Let me show you. This beautiful woman here, my mother, is very personal to me. She passed away in 2020. She did a lot of things, um, from traveling back and forth to Washington, D.C. with Marilyn Van, et cetera, to fight for our rights in 2017. Um, this, her baskets, you'll see in different cases, that's my favorite part. Now, all of this was needed, but I'd have to say that is my favorite. What is a quote or phrase you live by? Oh, I have three of those. Let's walk with me while I talk. Show you a little bit more of this museum. So I have three. I can't just tell you one favorite, but I will start with what my mom instilled in me, and it's let the work you do speak for you. That will go along with me forever. The second one I would have to say is treat others how you want to be treated. We learned that when we were kids. And the one that touches my heart even more, and it changed my life forever, is change the way you see things, and the things you see will change. What are your biggest hopes, personally and professionally, for 2023? My biggest hopes, I would have to say more exception. Exception in all types of forms, politically, religious, every aspect, accepting that others are different. It's okay for us not to see things the exact same way, but there's no wrong, no right. It's merely just the way you see things. And I feel like we would be a much better nation if we could just accept others for who they are. Thank you so much, Melissa, for hanging out with us today. Thank you. Wado to all of you, this beautiful camera crew. Look, I put you guys on blast. Thanks for coming to this museum and making this to a part of history.